Hello guys, it's the HD Tutorials here, and uh, today I'm bringing you another uh, Adobe After Effects tutorial. And basically, this tutorial is a little bit about, um, just basically, as you sometimes can see on some intros, that um, have like sort of the bumping sort of the animation with to it. Now, uh, that is because uh, created with some special things with the After Effects. Now, if you're creating an intro for yourself, for example, and you're trying to know how to actually just make your sort of text bump now it's a little bit more complicated than you thought than you think of but because it's not just about the scaling it has to be the perfect thing it has to be exactly perfect for it to actually be uh, a bumping sort of a text so I have my uh, the e channel to channel uh, sort of intro uh, for you uh, to just take a look at and just basically See, showing you guys how to how to actually how to actually make this make text bump, I would say. So here it is. Let me just walk through again. So yeah, so yeah, that was the thing. And basically, you guys can see that the text had a sort of bump, uh, sort of an animation. Now. The text, the reason why it looks a little bit more 3D because I, I made it with uh, Photoshop. Now you can actually make a text right on here. So basically, uh, let me just go and remove, not remove, and just close this one right over here. So basically, what you're gonna do is basically, uh, let me just go on and just do on a text right over here, a text line, and I'm just drag it to where the exact spot where our e channel 92. Uh, thing came along basically right over there let's click on it and uh, wait oh shoot oh, okay uh, well, I'm just typing uh, the oops oh my god oops uh, the oh my god uh, just choose a bit of text let me think let me see is a good one. Uh, I would say let's use brush. Yeah, that's a good one. H. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, the HD tutorials. You just drag that in. Uh, caps lock the, the tutorial. Okay. I uh, basically I'm just saying that again. Tutorials, um, like so. So once you have done, type in your text. And this is a false example. Just mind this. This is actually a false example. So basically, uh, if you wanted to, if you have seen some tutorials on it, basically, if you want to make a text or, or something screen bump, you have to have your scale. And just go on scale. I'm just time frame that, and I just do one, two, three. For the 110, 1, 2. Now, the reason I'm doing 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2 because this is something that you need to remember. And let me just do a couple of these again. Basically, this is not really. Wait, uh, oops. I need 100, 3. So, basically, what the freaking both? I just do, uh, Okay, let me just quickly do with these. So basically now let me just go and walk through to it. And you'll see that the text will not look bumpy as it the way it should be. It'll move a little bit more like sideways bump, like bump. So it's like bump. So yes, as you can see, now that bump was sort of as a sideways to already uh, placed like over here. So uh, the reason is because to make a, a sort of tech, a sort of certain text bump, it has to be either a composition or a um, it has to be a video, a composition or an image. It can't be the text had to have sort of the bump motion. So you have to. What I mean, you have to make it as a composition. So you have to make a new composition. That's what you have to do. You have to make a new composition. And then after that, or you can just go on into Photoshop or any other uh, image uh, creator 
to uh, get that sort of text. Uh, so sort of a uh, text sort of 3D to make that 3D anyway. So basically, you have to go and create and just go and exit this out. And just go to composition, new composition. Let's name this composition to text. Oh, text. Basically, set it as these. Uh, I, I was supposed to do it as one, uh, 180p, but it doesn't matter. So let me just go and click OK. And then once you've done that, now you're going to see this sort of a black screen. What you're going to do is you're going to click on this. This is going to transparent grid. Toggle transparency grid. And then click on that. It will toggle the transparency grid. Now after that, just can click for the text. And just go into comics. Uh, loud. This, this is actually an awesome uh, 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 text font. I'll leave it in the description. Tutorials. Basically, I'm just... Stop this, drag this in. This is the HD tutorials. I'm just going to size this up a little bit, uh, something like that. Yeah, that will be looking pretty good. So, like that. Now, there you have it. That is your text file. Now, after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see here in the project, uh, there's gonna be the text uh, file composition and you're gonna drag this one over in here and as you can see there is the HD tutorials now what you're gonna do is you probably want to drag this into right into the middle because this is definitely what look around close to the middle because if you didn't place this one in the middle then this one won't be in the middle so you have to drag a little bit but anyways as you can see the HD tutorials we have got that in here so set it to wherever you want the um, text to start up now you can actually have the CC lens on now. Uh, I've actually got a question from you guys. Uh, basically, it's how do how do you get a CC lens? How do you get CC lens on a CS4? Now there is a custom plugin that I use. Uh, there is a custom plugin that, that uh, I believe there is a there is a plugin. Yeah, I use that. Uh, it's for uh, CS4 that you can get CC lens and some other CC uh, effects on it on CS4. So I'll leave uh, a download link in the description as well for that. Let me just drag CC lens on here, and I'm just tying frame, key frame this. Now, uh, for the, the main thing about CC lens, you know, at the start you have to set it to zero, and after that, uh, right about let me just say five frames. Wait, let me just one, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, and now just boost that up to around right about the highest. Actually, uh, we can see about how that locks for the extreme sort of motion and stuff. Yeah. Let's right, just take a look. Yeah, that is definitely a great one. That is very, very speedy, very, very explosive. And yes. So, now the next thing is going to be a little bit more complicated. So, I suggest that you guys watch carefully. And closely now what you're gonna do is you're gonna press s which will bring up the scale and press this and after that what you're gonna do is you can remember this uh this number these this uh non number pattern basically it's three two nine 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 three two, nine, three, two. now i will show you what those mean so basically from here you start it off with 100 and then after that, you're gonna click on this, which is the next frame for three times, which is going to move three more frames. One, two, three. And then after that, 110. Click on that, and you will boost up that. And then after that, click on one, two, and then bring that back to 100. After that, uh, move this to one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Move that to nine, and then set this. First of all, you need to set it to one hundred and ten, and then one hundred. Now there is a quicker way to do this. So as you can see, so these two, uh, these separate uh, frames of three, and these two separate frames of two, and then these two separate frames of nine. So let me just show you a very very quick way to finish all of this without having been so complicated. So basically, just click on the 100% keyframe, click on that, copy this, Control c and then just drag this, the total number between 
the total uh, separated frames that uh, is in between two 100% keyframes. So if you don't know what I'm talking about is, so basically when you start it off, basically these two, they are 100% uh, percent keyframes, scale 100% keyframes, basically they are uh, separated with five frames. Basically you just skip five frames and then paste that on. Let me just do this, one, two, three, four, five, paste that up, and then after that, there it's nine frames, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Push that up. One, two, three. And that's about it because as you can see the diamond swords where so you're gonna stop it where you want the text to not come out. So basically around about here. So let me just uh, basically that's where you want that to end. And then after that just slowly very hard copy that this one. And after that, from starting from where you began with the uh, the first one hundred on for 100 percent scale which is right over here and see uh, one two three go set up this over here one two three post that up and over here one two three post that up wait one two three one two three four five yep after that, one, two, three. Now some of them may look weird because I know it. And two, some of them might look a little bit weird because they're not really. Yeah, some of them might look a little bit weird, but it's okay. It's it is the way it should be. One, two, three. And then move that, drag that over here. One. When one, two, three, put that over here, and then the last one, one, two, three. There we go. And let's just take a look at the bumping animation. As you can see, there's the bump. There is the bump. And now it just doesn't look like it's going sideways. Yeah, as you can see, that looks pretty spectacular as you can see the the sort of uh text is in that hd but it's okay it's okay let's just take a look at it again yeah as you can see that's how you make the bumping animation for uh your intro for the text and uh, yeah guys, so that's a little bit about, that's about it for this tutorial. Guys, if you guys love this tutorial or liked this tutorial, make sure to leave a like down below and also comment down as to what I should make for another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Guys, just before I go out, I just want to say I reached 100 subscribers, uh, the girl milestone again. I'm not going to do a video on that because it's going to be a waste of time. But I'm just going to say that the skin contest is still, still on. And that I'm gonna continue on to January. I think uh, after Chinese New Year, I will end that. And also, uh, the random comment winner will also the comment uh, winner will also be uh, the contest will also be on uh, going on to January after a crit, um, after Chinese New Year. It's so basically I want you guys to send in the skins uh, really, really, really quickly because the skins are actually I've seen three of them. Yeah, absolutely spectacular. I have already have one uh, in my mind that I like the most. 
But basically, those are pretty awesome. But I'll I'll leave you guys to vote for the best one. And also, I just because I want to make some more choices, so keep on sending your skin contests. Keep on sending your skins for the new challenger. And guys, I really really think that um, well maybe we can just get some pretty cool skin uh, people to have my intro. So ha have uh, an intro made by my by me. So guys, if you want to get that uh, the chance to win a intro uh, skin uh, or comment basically both have to subscribe each and every channel I have the link to the 100 subscribers which will have the full full details of both contests and how to enter for those and yes dude. so guys I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorials and guys this is one epic tutorial and uh, sometime soon I will make another tutorial on how to make a minecraft intro a new version of it because as I've been commented a lot by saying that I copied someone else's well not technically copied I actually uh, went on and did some few adjustments to it but anyways I'll uh, just to keep that uh, argument down I will actually remake another one soon and yes dude. so that's that's all it guys my name is the HD tutorials and I'll see you guys later bye bye